Good evening, folks. We're going to dive a bit deeper into this paper we covered on Sunday. Thunderstorms are indeed increasing at the North Pole, but the question is why. The authors suggest it has to do with the warmer Arctic, but the truth is it would need to be almost 10 times warmer than what we've seen so far to have the convection needed to produce thunderstorms. It's like taking ice from negative 100 to negative 70. Yeah, it's an increase, but it's not going to melt much. It hasn't reached a threshold. However, there is something else happening that can directly impact the clouds and electric fields of the polar atmosphere. We begin by going back to our textbook where the compilation of studies on cloud forcing by solar and cosmic ray activity is now pretty well understood. Back in 2014, there were still questions, but not anymore as the studies since then have all confirmed that connection. The solar and cosmic ray particles are electric, charged, positive or negative, and directly impact the electric field of the clouds, which not only builds them up more efficiently, but amplifies the lightning potential. Now, beyond the clouds and electric field studies, there are a lot of studies that hit the direct correlation between lightning and the sun and cosmic rays. These were the best papers as of 2020, and there were a lot of them. But since the textbook came out, there have been even more, confirming the connection again and again. My two favorites were this one on coronal mass ejections from the sun, directly triggering lightning storms, and this one on how global lightning numbers follow the solar cycle. Now we know the magnetic field of Earth, which blocks out those electrified particles, is weakening, allowing more of them to enter. So whether it is the constant flow of the solar wind, a solar flare directly impacting the upper atmosphere, a solar proton event funneling particles directly to the polar region along the interplanetary magnetic field, or those cosmic rays which create massive particle cascades that strongly correlate with lightning initiation. We know that both direct and indirect amplification through the global electric circuit are valid explanations for the space energy forcing of lightning. Now when we combine the dozens of studies on the correlations with the common sense electric mechanism of space weather interaction with the atmosphere, and we remember that the majority of that energy is actually funneled to the polar region, and that Earth's magnetic field is weakening and letting in even more of that energy, any sensible person should guess we would have more thunderstorms in the polar region, since that is what we're seeing. And the warming there doesn't even come close to what's needed to make thunderstorms. The correct answer is that the ongoing magnetic pole shift is having this amplification effect of electric fields and lightning in the Arctic. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.